So, according to this, my stream has been updated, so we're good. Yeah, so... I think the whole, like, me playing, uh, like, two games rather than just one all the way through has been pretty good. Except for, like, when I'm playing Skies of Arcadia. That's something that I want to play for the long haul. Um, but, like, for, for things like Wind Waker and other, like, short streams, like, uh, I'd like to, you know, play... a another game along with the one that I'm playing, so like, that way I play- I end up playing more. Okay, so, let's see. So I don't really remember the Forbidden Woods that well from when I was a kid, so I'm just gonna kinda go in the regular way and kind of go from there. Oh, yeah, since I've got the boomerang now, I can do this. Yeah, so we kind of went from, uh... Oh, hey, Cranberry! That's, uh... That's a lot of cat dancing there. So, <laughs> so yeah, we went from like the high like energy action of Dragon Ball Xenoverse, and then we're just going to like the more relaxing gameplay of Wind. Ah, oh, dang it, it was a Knight's Crest. The more relaxing, like laid back gameplay of Wind Waker. I mean, not that Zelda can't get stressful because it absolutely can. But I don't think um, I'm gonna get shot with a Kamehameha or have to worry about the universe literally like falling apart and it seems or getting erased by some godly being. Um, so, since there's nothing down here, I'm just gonna just back up. <laughs> It makes such a gross noise whenever I get into one of these things. Oh man. Well, back over there. We're gonna have to do that at the height of my jump, so... But yeah, like, uh, as far as, like, the hot sauce challenge goes, like, um, I'm definitely taking recommendations for, like, how many points that would be. Because, like, I want to take in my, in my own experience into account, but I also want it to be entertaining for you as a chat. Like, um, just so it's not, like, ridiculously expensive. Because, like, I'm still kind of, like, since I'm still very new as a Twitch affiliate, like, I'm still kind of learning the stuff as far as the bits and so, so on are concerned, so... I definitely take some recommendations, like, what would be, like, fair as far as that's concerned. But that 100% is a highlight that I'm probably gonna go in after the stream and, uh, mess with, because that was... that was an experience and a half, and I'm really grateful for it, but... my intestines are not. Okay, 200 is the cap that I have on this rupee bag. Um, okay. Okay, so I think I might have... I'm sure I've been in this room already, and I think I have an idea of where I'm supposed to go. But a lot of this is just on memory from years and years and years ago, so I'm not gonna... Uh, I won't 
consult a walkthrough unless I absolutely have to, but... Um, I do remember that I have to find, like, that really big room. Yeah, this one. Because I remember I have to... Yep. Because I have to knock that uh, platform down. Get the grappling hook out. Um, can I hit it from here? I'll get enough two of them at least. But I think they grow back if I take too long, so. Okay, now that I'm here, yep. Maybe I have to go over there. Okay, I see. I vote you name your character Esviv. Aw, oh, man, I missed that. Do you like the whole Alucard thing? Well, hey, like I said, Cranberry, like... Like, you showing the pictures of, like, the grappling hook and stuff is what inspired me to actually play this game again. Because I remember, like, the grappling hook was, like, the f one of the first key items you get in Wind Waker. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that. Okay. Yep! All right, this is the perfect spot. Oh, good. All right, now I can safely do this. Yeah, I know this is a game, but, like, there's no way that rolling like that would stop your- would remove the penalty of impact from that fall. Like, there's- you can't tell me that he wouldn't have just broken all of the bones in his body. I'm an influencer. Yes, absolutely. You're influencing the Twitch streamer. So, I'll try this first, though. Because I still have to find the big key. I will say, though, like, I never got to play Wind Waker HD, like, on the Wii U, but this looks really good for, like, a fan texture, like, upscale, and, like, redoing the textures. Like, this looks really good. Like, if you, if they were to add, like, the wind, like, if you were able to add the Wind Waker HD, like, lighting system and all that, like, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference, really. Goodies. 
probably gonna be like a compass or a rupee. Yep. Probably something over there that I need to grab, but I'm gonna see what's over here first. Just because if I remember right, this has a timer, so I can't like infinitely use this thing. Because I think eventually it'll either sink or it will uh I mean, maybe I'm misremembering. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to go through just in case. Ooh! Another... well, there's the big key, but I'm guessing... Oh, it's... I, I know what to do here. It's one of those puzzle rooms. <laughs> okay then, Link. Maybe I've got to go out to the very top. Okay, yeah, that'll help. Big key. Yeah, like, uh, one of the things I do want to try at some point is a randomizer, because, like, I want to be able to beat Wind Waker first, like, vanilla, and then I do want to try a randomizer with this game, just because I feel like that would be a whole new animal to it, because it's like it really changes the formula to, like, say the big key just as randomly, like, a rupee or something. Most recent adventure, alas, did not have any grappling hook for you to enjoy, but it was interesting in other ways. Yeah, like the one that you sent, um, yesterday? I mean, adventure is an adventure. Yeah, I like to... Like, if it's just something that's, like, out of the ordinary realm of what I do, like, I consider it an adventure. Like, I visited my old uh, t-ball baseball field the other day, just because, like, um, I had a lot of memories of it, but, like, I just hadn't stood on that field since, like, I was a kid, and I really wanted to see it again, so I went and uh, investigated my old, like, totally not abandoned um, t-ball field from when I was really little. And just because my I used to have such like a consistent routine with that other job, and now that I don't have to go there anymore, um, it's just uh, I'm able to do things again like that. Just like go places and on my own time and see things again, which has just always been something that, that I've just hadn't been able to do because of being uh, restricted to that other job and that schedule. Oh, I see. I have to hit it first and then go into that thing. You like looked like me getting my ass beat at uh, 
SF2. I mean, fair enough. Yeah, like, I, I play the games, but I can't make any guarantees that I'm any good at them. <laughs> but I do try. I mean, that's why Xenoverse is my power fantasy, because then I go to, like, Wind Waker and the fact that I'm at the very beginning of the game. It's, like, a complete tonal shifts. Those bots are no joke, you know, real coin eaters. Yeah, like, uh... Let me think, uh... Mar Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was probably the one fighting game that I adore, but I'm terrible at, and I absolutely hated playing it online. Well, that and because, like, Galactus at the end of that game, he can cheat. Like, if you're playing on one of the harder difficulties, he cheats. Because uh, there's some attacks you can't actually block. So you just have to tank the hit, which... Is lame. But then, um, Tasty in the chat introduced me to, um, King of Fighters, which is, like, um, an SMK fighting game. Like, it's just, some of the bosses in those are brutal. The bots of Street Fighter 2 read your Im inputs. Oh, man. See, I didn't really play Street Fighter 2 until much later. Like, there's a... Um... Like, Street Fighter 2 and uh, really a lot of classic fighting games I didn't get to play until later on. Like, um, I did play um, at a local, like, uh, um, sporting event center place. They had, like, this little dining area. And they had um, a Street Fighter versus... Or Marvel Super Heroes versus Street Fighter that I remember playing. Um, just because, like, I saw the superheroes on it, I was like, oh, that's cool. But then I played, uh, then I played it, and I'm like, oh, wow, th this this is hard. <laughs> so, let me equip the empty bottle. Well, actually, no, because I need that in order to get the water, so... I'm gonna go back to the forest haven, and then come back with forest water and try that exploit. No guarantees that I'll make it in time, but it's still worth a shot. Laughs and... Laughs and, uh, Rugal. Yeah, like, uh... Really, one of the few fighting games I got into was Marvel vs. Capcom, and also, um, Tekken. Like, Tek... Oh, and Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur, Tekken, and, um... Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Tekken, like... I got into Tekken primarily because of Yoshimitsu, who was in Soul Calibur 2, and then I realized that Yoshimitsu was also a Tekken character, so I started playing more and more of uh, Tekken, and uh, because their movesets are pretty much identical between Soul Calibur and Tekken, and I made a huge mistake doing that, because I'm gonna drown now. <laughs> Yoshi is just a meme. Yeah, I love Yoshi, me too. I first played Street Fighter 2 when I was a kid, but I had no idea how to actually play. One time I threw a Hadouken by pure accident and it blew my friends' minds. Yeah, because, like, uh, Street Fighter, like, really just introduced, like, the combo. Like, well, I wouldn't say it introduced it, but, like, um, Street Fighter was, like, one of the... F um, series that really introduced the concept of combos in the fighting genre, because really you would just make it up as you went before. With his silly sword still walk. Yeah, uh, Raphael in Soul Calibur 2 is also pretty broken because he has like this, um, this rapier attack that will just... What am I doing? Um, that will just bounce off of your head over and over again and just almost no way to block it. Like, if he gets you in that juggle, you're pretty much dead. And then Link also, like, Link in Soul Calibur 2 also has a pseudo-broken move. So if you're, like, too close to the, um... If you're too close to the edge of an arena, Link can use, um, a grab attack and, and ring you out fairly easily. 
I think Killer Instinct really kicked off the combo system. Yeah, like there's a... Like there's a... Like I'm not f too familiar with fighting game history, um, but I have at least a little bit of knowledge. Killer Instinct made it so hard though. Yeah, well, didn't they like re like remake that kill remake Killer Instinct or like make a reboot title somewhat recently? Because I remember there was a fighting game that had, I think it was Killer Instinct that they re they released on the Xbox One somewhat recently. Here, have this thirty input sequence you must do perfectly in under three seconds. Yeah, the only like uh, the only uh time I ever got like combos and stuff down was in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom, because, like, there's a... Because I got I got the original Marvel vs. Capcom when it came out, and then I got Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 when it... Or... Let me backtrack. So I got Marvel vs. Capcom 3 at first, and then I got UMVC 3 when that came out, and I played that relatively frequently, but it was the only fighting game that I ever really got into at that time, and... That was 2011, so after 2011, that's kind of when I got into more and more of the fighting genre, because... Like, technically Smash Bros, but I'm talking more of, like, the one-on-one, -on -one, like, fighting games. Piece of cake. What? Ah, come... Come on, Nightbot. Be nice to Cranberry. Like, it's a combo breaker. 30 inputs, laughs in King of Fighters 3, laughs in 1994. <laughs> yeah, it's like Nightbot is, like, easily offended. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put the this there, and then... I'll put that on X. Oh, do I have to go into the deep water for this? Huh, guess so. Was it the stream the other day that kept leading me? Yeah, it was the, um... It was the Skies of Arcadia stream where, like, uh, it was coward. Like, it would not take the word coward. I'm just gonna reset that because I screwed it up real bad. Oh god, King of Fighter 94 super inputs were invented by the devil. Okay, how many times do I have to get rid of this? Or is it just infinite? Okay. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't start the timer until I leave. I don't I don't really remember the the mechanic of the forest water that well. Yeah, like Nightbot I've had to like heavily modify though, because like it just it's just so like some of the stuff that it finds offensive is really like weird. Like coward and exclamation point coward and it's just really random what it finds like as offensive content. Like, I mean, there's some stuff that is absolutely something, stuff that I wouldn't allow in stream, but, like, you know, like, the stuff that Nightbot blocks is just outrageous. Link is pulling a cranberry. Yeah, yeah, the grappling hook. Yeah, because, like, uh, when I saw the grappling hook stuff you posted and the stories that you told, like, it's what inspired me to pick up this game again, because, like, uh... How the grappling hook is, like, uh, the very first key item you get. 
but one of the first. Is it this way or the other way? Okay, no, this just takes you to the Nintendo Gallery. So I have to go out the other way. Okay. I mean, even if I don't make it in time with this forest water, it's fine, but I want to try at least to do it, because I've never actually done this like, this method before. Yeah, but this dungeon, I've, I, may, I again, because a lot of this is probably just because I'm seeing this through the lens of an adult mind instead of a, a child's mind, but I really felt like this dungeon was a lot longer than it actually was. Because granted, this has been split up into two streams, but it just feels like the dungeon was a lot longer. Eighteen minutes to get to the dungeon thing. I think I should be fine, but uh, you know, stranger things have happened. I mean, I did do a hot sauce challenge earlier, so stranger things have happened um, as far as like me not making it to that dungeon area in eighteen minutes, or the fact, or getting beating the boss to the point where I can actually do this technique. Let's do a little bit of an evasion tactic here. Okay. So I think it's just a straight sauce. Oh, you did? Did you do hot sauce? I took a nap, so I missed some of the stream. Oh, no biggies at all, cranberry. So I actually am gonna probably do it again later because Specs a Million um, had uh, redeemed it. But um, I'm gonna wait till later in the stream to do it so my mouth and my body has recovered from the last bit. Because um, I basically took two things of, like, I literally, quite literally drank hot sauce. And um, it's uh, not just any hot sauce, it's Hellfire sauce, which is Carolina Reaper. And that stuff is no joke. But since, like, uh, I'm very limited with my, um, the expressions that I have, I couldn't really showcase it. But, like, audibly, you could tell that I was in absolute agony. <laughs> yes, you did. And I'm happy that you're having fun with my misery. <laughs> Well, it's not really pain, it's more just like, uh, more for fun. Like, I don't, like, I handle hot stuff fairly well. Okay, so that's just a chest, so. Yeah, I think what I'll do is, like, I'm gonna make it more of an expensive, uh, bit. Because I don't want it to be, like, uh... It's redeemed like every five seconds because I because like I'm still kind of new to the whole bit system 
Yeah, Sarah. Sarah. No. No, but like, uh, I... I, I was kind of it, it was kind of an ignorance part on my part because I didn't understand like how long like it would take for certain bits to um like how long it would like a viewer would have to watch to get certain bits consumption space hurdy. I still have the hot sauce next to me, but but it's not it's not like super it's not gross hot sauce either. Like the Carolina Reaper sauce actually has like really good flavor. It's um like I said, it's the it's called Hellfire. Uh, it's just called Hellfire hot sauce. It's the same one that they use on hot ones, at least in some episodes. So I think the big key door is right over here. Yep. Yeah, because I, I don't know if they used it, they still use it, but I know in some episodes they use the uh, Reaper sauce that I have. Here, I'll be nicer to you. Oh, well, thank you so much, Cranberry. I will enjoy this drink. Nice. Yeah, and I'm also still thinking of ideas to add to the list of redeems. Because I want to make it fun, but also not, like, repetitive or, like, you know, like, I really like the self-help stuff in there. Like, the I must hydrate, I must get up and stretch, stuff like that. I really like that, but other things that can make it more fun. Like, the hot sauce was just an idea that I had off the top of my head one day. But I am going to make it more expensive. I remember to save. I am a car. A small precious child. Well, I will I will take part in your pop quiz once I'm not in a life-threatening situation. Okay, watch this. Yes, chat, I just instant killed that boss. Ironic that um, Cranberry asked me to hydrate just before I did that, so I guess this is everyone's sign to stay hydrated and make sure to drink some water. Water, a plant's one weakness. Okay, so let's see. You can make a reward that affects your avatar in some way, like change the color of the glasses or change the shirt or make it wear a hat for a time or something. Yeah, because there's a like different add-ons that I can get through Steam where I can uh, like like objects and stuff that 
I can add like hats and other things that I can add to interact with the avatar. Um, I think maybe one of them could be like change my avatar to a different outfit because since I have multiple outfits that I have planned and I have already have a few myself, um, I think I might do, maybe one of them is like change to the denim jacket and the dress, or to change it to the hoodie or um, the jeans. Um, maybe like uh, change the positioning of my avatar or something. You know, just small things like that. But uh, I'm I'm scared to read that trends because I'm worried that that's like I'm worried like is that is, that's not something that's gonna get me demonetized, is it? It's not. It's scientific. Well, nano I would imagine is like small, so. I have no idea. <laughs> Do you want me to read it out loud? Is that is that what you want, Trends? Do you want me to read it out loud? And I still have some water to spare, too. Because, like, it's the infinite, like, cup of water. How much time did that have left, anyway? 14 minutes. They are the prefixes for small units. Nano, Pico, Femto, Otto? Well, I mean, that's something else that I should probably do at some point. I should probably do a stream where I play, like, Brain Age or something, and, like, I actually legitimately try to do stuff. Because we can see how far behind as far as my education was. Because <laughs> I think, because, like, y you've teased me a lot, chat, about how I can't read and I, like, look over things. So I think that'd be fun to actually challenge myself and to see... Eno is, is Eno smarter than the fifth grader? No, I probably have like a third grade education level in some aspects. Realistically though, I actually am a college graduate. I do have a bachelor's in uh, graphics communications. Um, bachelor of Science and Technology is the proper name for it. But um, as far as like math is concerned, like math problems, I have prob I do probably have like a fourth grade math level. Um, but, like, reading and writing is a little better, but not by much. Because I actually found, like, some footage from a school dance that I went to. Because um, I was looking through my external drive to find, like, a, a specifically some old footage, and I came across some footage from a school dance that I went to when I was a senior. And, um, looking back on it, it just shows me that they really did not give a damn about like the, um any of the events that they put on because like the dj was horrendous and two like um i was i guess i was just kind of like dense to the situation back then but like they literally served animal crackers and popcorn and cups of water at the school dance like there wasn't any punch there was no like uh, like real food or like cakes or anything of that nature none of that Yeah, because I remember when I, like, that was a separate dance, but I remember at my prom, I rem uh, they, the other students would grab, like, the, the cans of soda, they'd grab, they'd grab them from the cooler, drink it once, put it on the table, forget it was there, go back, and then grab another one, and just repeated that process, so at the, when, by the time I got in the doors at the prom, um, they'd already run out of all the soda. Me when underfunded schools, yeah. At the time, I thought it was awesome, but like looking back on it as an adult, it's just like, wow, they really did not care. <laughs>
I mean, can you give me some of those Deku nuts too? Because I'd like to use those as as the item from Ocarina and Majora. Okay, so I'll talk to the Great Deku Tree real quick. So again, more pronunciations that I had as a kid. So I always called the Great Deku Tree the Deku Tree. Deku's nuts. Yes. I mean, do you want some of these? Problem is, I don't know if I can actually get rid of this forest water until it expires, so it's gonna be stuck in my empty bottle until it's gone. Ah, uh, playful now, are we? Of course I am! So I've got two of the pearls, because I did Dragon Roost, and now I've done uh, the Forest Haven, so I actually don't remember what the next one was. I'm going to show the King of Red Lions is going to fill me in. Oh hey, I've got mail. Is it going to be another scam uh, car insurance offer? It's like, oh, you're pre-qualified to uh, get X amount of... Uh, Credit from our company. If you are reading this letter, it can only mean you have peeked into one of our many post box. I am indebted, indebted to you. I am very sorry I let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. We cannot do much to help you, but we can at least do this. If you get any letters or parcels, if we get any letters or parcels for you, we will deliver them to a post box near you. If you see any wiggling post boxes, please look inside them. I like how their whole brand identity is like, hey, look at the wiggling post box, and that's how you know you've got mail. I suppose you have a long way to go before your perilous journey is done. I have included a gift for you with my letter in the hope that it might help you. Please accept this small token. I look forward to the day that we meet again. May fortune f fill your wings. From Kamali's father. I like how his name is just Kamali's father. He doesn't have an identity to set himself apart from the fact that he's literally just the father of a character that we know. We've been trying to reach you, but your Wind Waker's extended warranty. Yeah, speaking of that, um, I watched that... Um, Tears of the Kingdom trailer, and seeing Ganondorf again was really cool. Um, but, like, at the same time, um, you know, like, I'm glad that my brother bought it and not me, because I just can't spend $70 on games. Like, I mean... I can, like, if it's a special deluxe edition or something, that's one thing, but I just can't spend $70 on a new game. It doesn't matter what it is. Like, if it's something that is really, like, it, that I'm into, then sure, but, like, I just don't want to spend that much money on something. Which is, hence why I play a lot of older titles, because at least I have them, and I don't have to worry about them, like, uh, have, having to buy this again. Unless it's, like, remade or something, but that's a different case. Probably the only new game that I'm going to get um, uh, anytime soon is probably going to be Jedi Survivor, because Jedi Fallen Order was my favorite game um, of the last few years. And I really want to play more of that style of Star Wars game. Plus, like, I am a huge Star Wars nerd. Like, so, if you want, like, weird and interesting Star Wars lore, I am your, I'm your spirit to tell you about it. 
I thought the game crashed for a second. Let me save, just in case. So, for example, did you know that Earth technically exists in the Star Wars universe? It's only canon through, I think, Star Tours. But, um, Earth is mentioned as a planet in the Star Wars canon. And there was also a uh, comic called, um, called Star Wars Tales, which is just a collection of, like, one-shots. Um, and it's by different creators, but one of the stories, while not canon, was um, Chewbacca... Well, Han Solo and Chewbacca and the Millennium Falcon like made a wrong hyperspace jump, and they ended up on Earth um, in uh, probably, like, 100 years or so in the past, 200 years, and was killed by humans on Earth, and then um, probably like 100, 200 years later, um, a an archaeologist finds the Millennium Falcon after hearing like rumors of Sasquatch in the area. And that researcher just so happens to be Indiana Jones. <laughs> so, there's a, there's a lot of weird Star Wars stuff that's come out over the years. And Star Wars Tales is not canon, it's all just one-shot stuff, but at the same time, I find it really interesting that they, in some official Star Wars media, they've tried to cross over Indiana Jones and other things into the overall story. Good to see you! Well, oh, well, as soon as I said hi, I got hit by a, a squid. But hey, hey, good to see you! Welcome to the stream! Yeah, our, our times are a little off, because when you stream, I'm usually either asleep or... Um, I try to catch your streams anytime I can. No, no worries at all. Like, uh, I ch like we've all, we've all got stuff going on, so I'm, it's all right. Yeah, Ern is in the chat too. The streams are very random. Yeah, I try to do a schedule of like every three days, but even then, I still am not consistent. Just because like some days I'm not feeling up to it, or just. Um, my work schedule is not consistent anymore, so I just I have to do it when I can. Change the wind direction to go this way. Most most of my kids get in the way of me streaming. Yeah, like I said, we've all got our responsibilities. I mean, I did tune in a little bit to that Overwatch one that you did. Um, I think it was last night or the night before, or just it was somewhat recently. I tuned in to that one for a little bit, or maybe it was Wiz who was streaming it, and then you were part of that stream. Now it's just a shit PC getting in the way. Yeah, like if you did, like. If you need, uh, like I said, in uh, the server, like if you need um, a GPU, like I've got one laying around. Every time the game hiccups like that... Okay, yeah, it was whiz. Every time the stream hiccups like that, I'm afraid it's gonna crash and I'm gonna lose all of my progress because I'm always terrible at saving my game. Oh, I remember now. I I completely forgotten um, what part of the game I actually was at because it's been 
Oh, jeez. I probably haven't played this game since, like, 2009. I still need to actually uh, go to my physical GameCube and look and see the save files on it, because I want to see, like, uh, I'm really curious to see what kind of progress that I've made. Um, yeah, I was very happy people offered to give me parts, but there's one part that stands in the way I can't put them in. Yeah, I'll be honest, I actually had to have a friend put my PC together because I'm more of a software person. Like, I understand software, but not so much hardware. Cave where he hides is sealed for my thought I knew software that I met Wiz. Oh yeah, Wiz is like the he's incredible. <laughs> like I've only seen a little bit of what he's able to do, but I mean I have a really high respect that he's able to do all of that and put all that stuff together. Cause like I've taken one coding class and this goes back to my education that we were talking about in chat. Um uh, I have only taken one coding class, and I'll be honest, I bs the whole thing. Because um, what we were supposed to do is we were supposed to watch like these tutorial videos and then send the proof of um, that we watched them to the teacher, and then we would have to actually do, do the coding. Um, but I just watched the videos in the background of what I was doing, and then it still counted as a completed task. I mean, I, that, like, I still did the assignments, of course. Like, I, I didn't cheat or anything, but, like, I... Like, the video portion I just completely botched. Because, like, the stuff that they provided education-wise wasn't really, like, great in terms of, like, teaching the actual material, so... Um, I actually just looked up most of what I need to know from other sources. Because I think my site still exists that I built in college, now that I think about it. But now that we're talking about that, now, now that I've kind of brought that up, like, I'm trying to think of other things, like, education-wise. Because, <laughs> um... So... I think the biggest problem that I had was math. Like, math was probably, like, the biggest subject that I just could not understand. And I still can't. Um, just because, like, uh, I've had, like, one or two bad teachers that just weren't teaching it well. So... I ended up having, like... Because they would just, like, go up into the onto the blackboard and, like, write out the problems, and then they would just sit and play on their computer for the rest of the time. Like, they didn't actually, like, t do any, like, tutoring. Wiz says his teachers and TAs are shit. Yeah, like, even when I was in college, I had some pretty bad teachers. Um... Because I think, like, a, a bad teacher can ruin an entire subject. Okay, so Windfall is right there, so that is northeast. I'm really happy that Wiz is going to college, though, like, um, getting that, um, like, doing what he's doing, because, like, I had an absolute blast when I was in college, and I wouldn't trade any of the experience I had for the world, but I did have a few hiccups here and there with teachers. At one point, his teacher didn't even know what he was teaching. He was, his teacher spent half the class looking up the sub- ugh. Well, it's either that or, like, I've had teachers that will literally take, um, flashcards and, like, assignment worksheets from the internet, and they will just use those, uh, pre-made problems and worksheets and use that as their course material. Like, they won't actually make anything themselves. So, nine times out of ten, students will just look up the answers online because you can just find the flashcards that they took the answers from. Because I had to take a music appreciation class um, that did exactly that, which they just took stuff from flashcards on the internet.
This is art. Appreciate it. Yeah. Music appreciation was such a weird class. Like, it was a requirement for me to graduate, but they were like, here, you gotta like, you, you love music? Well, you gotta appreciate it more. <laughs> Cause like I had to learn all about like all the different genres of music. Um, I had to watch a classical music concert and talk about the emotions that it provided to me. It was so boring. I had to read this book about like this person's musical career, which is fine because I love music, but not when it's like boring course material about like. Um, okay, this is where they, uh, recorded so-and-so, and, like, this is how these instruments play into these specific genres, and... It just wasn't fun. That shark is really, like, trying to get me. Uh, what? <laughs> it... What just happened? <laughs> Am I- uh, what? Am I going crazy or did Link just stop? Go into a cutscene and then... I just- okay? Maybe it's loading another area, but... Um... I was so afraid the game was gonna crash. Like, maybe I was, like, hitting it from a wrong angle, maybe? But even then, like, it's weird. Just as the postman told us, the pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the town. Well, I mean, it's kind of hard to avoid a massive pirate ship that's parked right outside your door. So I will admit, chat, I am still feeling a little bit off from the uh, hot sauce, so I will still probably do it later on, but if not, then I will just add that to my debt for later on <laughs> specs, um, if you're still in the chat, so just because, like, I don't want to overdo it. Someone, someone was, oh, hey, Wiz, good to see ya! We were just talking about how you're awesome at software. And that you've, uh, that you're in college. Because I was just talking about my experiences in college and how people would <laughs> Um, like, I, I literally had, again, I had teachers that would just take stuff off the internet and use those online worksheets. Um, so people would just literally look up the answers, because if you just reverse search the answers, you would find them online. Which is a fast track to get somebody taken out of school for academic dishonesty. But... I was a graphic student, so I didn't really have to do a lot of that stuff, um, as far as, like, music appreciation. Which, I, I don't even understand why I was in music appreciation being a graphic student. Because uh, I went into school for film, like, but, like, I had to do all these other courses, like math and science and so on. Yeah, like, uh, so, one thing that I did was, uh, this might actually horrify you a little bit, Wiz, but I... I had to take a, uh, what was it, a six, no, it was a seven-hour science class. The first four hours were lecture, and then the other time was spent in lab. But the teacher was so boring. I, I, I didn't even last the first class. I left, like, halfway through, and then I was like, okay, I'm dropping this course. I'm taking up a different science class. Because I, I think it was, like, chemistry or something along those lines, but I can't sit in a class for five hours, or seven hours. What do pirates love more than the sea? Um, 
I, I was gonna say R. Okay. Yeah, but uh, for whoever's curious, my degree is a Bachelor of Science in Technology, so it's it's kind of all-encompassing because I had to do all sorts of different things. Like I did print, I did um, well print media, packaging, uh, di digital marketing, editing, uh, photography, like pretty much all-encompassing in terms of like graphics and design and so on. I mean, I still don't consider myself to be like a really good graphic designer, but I have the qualifications at least. It's much more efficient to teach myself with this class. Uh, what's the class that you're taking? Um, if I may ask. Because to be honest, like a lot of what I learned as far as like video editing, I learned more on YouTube than I did like actually doing it in class. Full stack bootcamp. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna show it on stream just because of, like, privacy concerns and whatnot. But, uh, there was a video that I had to do as a project, and this is related to Zelda, actually. I had to essentially create a, um... Our teacher, like, handed out this bucket full of objects that when we took out an object, that was what we had to make a commercial on and advertise it. So, I got a Pringles can, and, um, my partner at the time, uh... Well, my work partner, um, he, uh, because I we we had partnered with two people to make the to make a commercial, and he decided, oh, let's make a uh, Zelda themed Pringles ad. So we literally went out to some random road in Kansas and took a. Okay, thank you for letting me know. Uh, so. We went out some random road in Kansas and took this pot that we got from this um, surf, like this uh, pottery, like China place, and had the Pringles can inside, and we just smashed it on the side of the road somewhere, and that the remains of it are probably still somewhere in Kansas. <laughs> but like he went like all out, like the guy that I worked with, he had full on Zelda, like shield, sword, everything. But that class did, that project did teach me how to dub over audio, so I guess there was some utility in it. Yeah, now that I think about it, like... College was fun, but at the same time, like, even they didn't really treat us too well. Well, they didn't treat us too well when I went there. Because, uh, they... When I first went there, they did, like, Halloween parties and Christmas parties, but my very last year, they just, uh... They just stopped doing them. Because I, I, well, I guess for the Halloween party, there was like a couple that came in and like argued about something and the police had to be called, but they just stopped doing holiday events after that. And it was just really dull my last year. Because I'm, I'm a 2020 graduate, so I graduated like right as you know what happened. Like, because um, I was in uh, military science and uh, senior project um, as my last classes, so um, when I got sent home, I had to do all of that. Um, within the last two months of school. So, like, I graduated, like, right before, like, the whole remote classes thing became, like, a reality. What is that cranberry? That's uh 
It looks like a pair of sunglasses on like a... What is that? I may need to get... Well, I do need to get new glasses, but... It's like I'm trying to figure out what that is with how small it is. So I like how since this is running widescreen, you can see the characters pop in because they're, since it was made with 4x3 in mind, um, you can see like all of the uh, characters just pop in at certain points because they're supposed to be just off screen enough. But, okay, I see Santa Claus laughing at, what is that? VR time. Oh, are you getting in VR there, Trends? That's strawberry panties. Oh, I thought that was like a, a puzzle piece or something. <laughs> are you getting into like a... Uh, what game are you getting into there, Trends? Today's password is treasure. Okay, that's a little long nose. Treasure. Ooh, H3, nice. Hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. Yeah, that game taught me, like... I have, uh... I fired multiple IRL guns and rifles and so on, and H3 VR, like, actually helped me to... Um, really get the mechanics of those down before I tried them out in real life. Like the MP5, for example, like I used the MP5 a lot in H3 VR, and then I went to my local range and they had an MP5 there for rental, and I got to shoot it full auto, and it really, like, it, like, in VR you don't really get the same feeling. Yeah, <laughs> of course, yeah, because I'm American. Yeah, like, I'm not really one, like, for it, necessarily, but, like, uh, you know, it's just, like, a uh, H3VR, like, taught me more about the mechanics of, like, handling firearms and whatnot more than, uh, a lot of other, like, because they, it's more realistic than most games I've played. I have such a fear of guns, I can never handle one. Yeah, I'll be honest, like, they're loud. Like, they are extremely loud, and, um... But it's also a historical factor for me, because, like, I like to look at historical ones. So, like, for example, my brother has a historical Mosin Nagant rifle, which was used as a, um, like, a sniping unit from World War II used that gun. And it's just really fascinating to look at it because it has the marks and, like, personal initials from the soldier who owned it. So it has a little bit of World War II history to it, which is really interesting. I saw someone begging for the life only to be gunned down, so anyways. I feared guns ever since. Yeah, and th that's completely understandable there, Cranberry. Like, I, I am, like... I still am kind of uncomfortable around them, to my, to be honest with you. But, you know, that's just... But I also understand kind of like the environment that I live around. Um, and my preference is generally towards Blades anyway. Because um, uh, I've always felt that it's much harder to master a Blade... Uh, just because, uh, 
like I've been practicing my blade for two years and I still can't cut properly. I don't know, that actually reminds me, Cranberry, so like, uh, have you ever, um, have you ever done any, like, martial arts or anything like that, or like, um, held, like, a katana or anything? Because, like, the one that, the one that I use for practice is actually a dull blade, so, um, it's essentially just a big metal stick, um, but it has the same weight and dimensions of a real katana, which is what I train with. You can see there's our lanterns hanging through there are lanterns hanging throughout the room. Well last time when you pressed the switch, platforms rose up for you to jump on, right? Well, this time there aren't any. Well, thanks, Nico. <laughs> so again, there use I said this the last time we were in this room. So the pirate ship has all this room. And they're wasting it on this stupid minigame that Nico has created for us. I have a sword, but it's not a sharp one. I've not had formal martial arts training, though when I was young I was informally taught some basic fighting moves. Yeah, so something interesting about the martial arts that I learn is that it's not all like... Like, there's these... The way that my sensei puts it is uh, soft katas. So they're more like Buddhist meditations. So they're... Like, if you've seen um, Avatar The Last Airbender, like, a lot of what, like, say, for example, the Water Tribe uses in their moves. Um, that's actually, like, legitimate movement, but with the added flair of, like, the water attacks and so on. Like, uh, there's different, like, like, at least the way that I'm taught, there's, like, different katas for different um, elements. I guess I can't use either of those. Oh well. Yeah, once I get full body tracking in VR, I'd be able to actually showcase them. Because, like, I can do them in VR, it's just that, like, a lot of it is footwork, so you can't really showcase that with just the VR headset. Oh, well, thank you for the follow, Monochrome Gold. Um, just having a discussion about martial arts stuff while playing some Wind Waker. So thank you for the follow. I was being bullied as a kid, so my parents basically taught me to punch a kid in the face. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to have enough time to do this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's kind of what my parents, like, told me to do, is, like, at the end of the year, if somebody's bothering you, just punch them in the face or, like, hit them. And I'm like, of course I never did, because that's terrible advice for my parents to go punch somebody. But, at the same time, like, uh, you know, as an adult, I just decided I... I... I needed to stop pretending that I was tough and to actually go and make myself that way. At least, I mean, not in a threatening manner, but more, enough to where I could learn, like, self-defense and actually hold my own if I needed to. Yep. Oh, no, no. Run out of time. Come on, Link, build up the momentum, boy. Okay, come on. Come on, Link, come on, come on. Yep. Come on. Oh! 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 Oh, I, I thought the door was going to smash him for a second. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, if you're interested, Cranberry, I can showcase, like, my martial arts um, weapons. Like, my kendo armor is in my car, so I can't actually go get that, but... Well, I mean, I can, but I usually keep it in my car because it's, like, set up a certain way. But I can show my, uh, like, my practice sword and whatnot. Because if I were to turn over to my left in my real-life room, I have two kendo shinais, one that's covered in duct tape because I've used it so much. Um, I have my Balkan, and then my Iaito, which is essentially like a, uh, it's a dull blade katana. 
My friends are worried about my spirit lake attempts. Everyone wanted me to have some protection, not wanting to carry a gun. Instead, I chose to use a grappling hook. Well, see, that's what's interesting about that is because, uh, uh, I think it, I forgot what they're called, like the comma, some, like the, the sites, essentially. Um, so, um, in that martial art, like, um, you can either carry them just as they, as they are, or you can have, like, a chain attached to them. So that kind of reminds me of the grappling hook. So, um, you could use that as kind of like the comma thing, and, like, use your grappling hook and, like, get somebody's leg or something. Yeah, and then uh, over to my right, I've got a uh, Machete Gladius. Or, a, um, well, it's called a Gladius Machete, which basically just, it's essentially just a, glad a Roman Gladius. And then I have my actual sword, and then I have a Wakazashi on the sword stand. Which, the problem with my Wakazashi is that it's, um, the scabbard, or the Saya, it's too, um, it's too small. So when it was when they built the sword, it didn't fit the Saya, but they gave it to me anyway, so I can't actually sheath it completely. I also insisted on having something for protection that wasn't primarily to take life. Yeah, I uh I actually um I walk with a cane and I use that. So fun fact about Eno, I walk with a cane, not like not necessarily for mobility, because um, I do have, like, vertigo that I get sometimes, but, like, it's primarily as a form of protection, because, like, you can bring a cane in anywhere. Only twice had to use it as a weapon. Was it one of those times where you were you encountered that mountain lion? Yep. I've never had any like uh, crazy animal encounters personally. Like I mean, I've seen like animals like that from a distance, but never like I've never actually had any like really negative encounters. Bear, yes, that was the first time, but it did not strike the bear directly. I spun it over my head, and the bear ran away. Letters for Eno. We have one letter. Let me guess, it's somebody redeeming the hot sauce challenge. Notice from Beetle Shop Ship. It is time for our semi-annual Big Chance Extravaganza. We have a new product that has burst onto the scene. Bombs. We're having an extra special sale on this choice item for limited time only. You'll know where to find us by checking the enclosed Beetle Shop Ship chart. Visit a Beetle Shop near, Ship Shop near you today. Offer not available in all regions. Don't miss this huge opportunity. Signed, Beetle. Second time was when a man confronted me. I tell you what, though, that grappling hook of yours looks like it is... Pr like it ha well, I mean, it has to be, like, at least a little bit sharp because it has to grip onto, like, trees and other things and not break. So, so I, I go back to Outset Island, and that's, well, that's where I'm supposed to go, is to go back to Outset, but, um, 
One of the things that I can do is I need to get a fairy in order to uh, wake up Link's grandmother. But I think I might just have to go to the fairy fountain that's there. Because now that I have the bombs, I can actually access that. So I think I'll just do that. It's not sharp, though. If you raked it across your screen, it might cut you. It grabs things. It, gr it grasps, grips things, does not break them. Okay. Yeah, uh, so my cane is actually from a company called Cane Masters. They, um... They, pr they decided that, like, uh... You know, like, there's so many weapons over history that were originally, like, farming tools or, um other, like, everyday house items that were turned into famous martial arts weapons. So, like, they looked at the cane, and they're like, okay, so, you know, the cane has been used since, like, ancient Egyptian times, so why do we not have a martial arts style for them? So they created, like, their own martial arts style and used the cane as a weapon. So, because I... There was an incident, um, where I'm getting a little heavy here, Chad, so, um, just feared, like, a little bit of a discretion, um, warning, but, uh, I went to a gas station, um, to get some batteries for my VR controllers at like 11 o'clock at night once and um, there was these punks that were in this car that were asking for money and be like oh hey do you have some money we're stuck here and um, they said they were trying to like basically they're scammers basically trying to like get money to so I, I was like me being naive at the time I was like uh, I don't have any money man I'm sorry and then they just like were they kept pushing it and they were like Oh, uh, well, can you, like, send it to Cash App or, like, Venmo or something? And I told them no, so I went in and tried to find the batteries and see if I could see if I could wait them out. But then I came out of the, the um, gas station, and then um, they had parked their car next to mine and got out. And I was... I, w I should have just went back inside. I don't know why I didn't think to do that. But, like, they were, like confronting me and be like, you can't spare, like, ten dollars and stuff. So, like, and then his, the guy's partner was, like, over in a darker area, so like, I was worried that he was gonna come out of nowhere and try to mug me, but one of their employees was outside at the time, thank goodness, and was able to um, watch them and make sure they didn't do anything, and apparently they, they're fairly regular around that area. But, uh, because of that, like, I was traumatized for a while, and um, I went and got that martial arts cane uh, to protect myself in case, I, just so I have something. But uh, a couple months later, like uh, I actually saw those guys at my other at my job. Like they had tried to scam like nine hundred dollars worth of items in the garden center, and um, I was able to prevent them from stealing it. And I haven't seen them since, so. As far as I'm aware, they're banned from the store and they can't come back in, but... Yeah, like, that's my story. Probably the only time I've ever been in, like, a life-threatening situation, so to speak. The the dark and gloomy atmosphere of, uh, Wind Waker right now kind of helps with that, too. <laughs> Me storytelling that. So, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the Jaboon thing, and then that's where I will call the stream. Because, um, it's gonna take me a little while to get to Outset, because it's on the other end of the map, and I'm quite a few squares away from it right now. That was in the back of the park. So I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, it's right over here. Well, this direction, rather. This outset's pretty much due south on the southern end of the map.
Yeah, see, like, once they know that, like, that you're, that you're not an easy target, they usually back off. Like, that's... Like, because I'm a martial artist, like, um, I learned... One of the things that I learned is how to, like, twirl, like, items. So, because my cane is the same dimensions and, uh, length as my practice sword, I can spin it around fairly quickly and get into a fighting stance very quickly. So that's kind of, like, my thing is that I tend to spin it around, like, when I'm leaving work at night when it's, like, really dark and there's nobody in the parking lot, I tend to have it, like, in my hand. Um, ready, and I spin it around just so anybody that's around will see that I'm, like, I don't have this for uh, just no reason at all, like, which I do use it for mobility because I do have, like, some back problems and I do get vertigo sometimes, so, like, um, I'll usually get really, like, dizzy and I need to, like, stand on, have something to help me stand up, which I actually need to clean it because I the wood's getting a little iffy. Morning has not broken since we arrived at Great Fish Isle, a land that was so ravaged by monsters as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Valu spoke of. Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. Okay, so I'm going to go up to the fairy fountain first, because I need to get a fairy from up there before I can heal Link's grandmother. I don't know if I have to like wait to a certain point, but I remember that what I have to do is I have to get a fairy... Spinning it shows you know how to handle it, also makes you clearly vis visible. It's a good intimidation tactic. Yeah, like, my cane is made of hickory wood, so, like, that's a really strong and durable wood. Like, I've used it, um, in my, do in my Sensei's Dojo to, like, practice in place of a wooden sword. I think at some point I'm going to get a second one, just because, like, like in the event that it breaks, I have a backup. But yeah, that's some interesting facts about Eno that you've learned this stream chat. I don't necessarily see myself as an interesting spirit, per se, but I have interesting stories and encounters that I've had throughout my life. Can you use it like Donatello? Uh, possibly. I can spin it fairly quickly. I'm slowly training my other hands to spin it. Because um, mostly, I'm right handed, so like, um, I can spin it fairly easily with my right hand, but not so much with my left. So I'm training my left hand cause, to spin it. Because, uh, like, at least the way that I'm taught, like, and how, like, katanas in general are, is that your left hand is the power hand, and then your right hand is the brake, and also what you use to control the direction that you're using it. So, um, training my left hand is probably more beneficial in the long run, because, um, I'll be able to use it more effectively, because a lot of it is in the left hand, and the right hand, like, um, while it helps to get the direction of your cut, it um, it will also uh, it can also uh, you can overcompensate and your cut can go in the wrong direction, which is what happened a little while ago when I tried to cut a tatami mat. It's the on the other way around. I'm left-handed. Which is funny that because my left hand is actually stronger grip wise than my right hand. And I'm right hand dominant. Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest.
Ooh, goody, a rupee bag. Well, I mean, a thousand rupees is still really good. But I'm here for the fairies. There we go. That poor fairy looks so sad. <laughs> Yeah, so Wind Waker, like, I love the game, but I never was a fan of the fairy redesign in Wind Waker, because, I mean, in the, in the like, A Link to the Past and the classic Zelda games, like, the fairies had that sort of design, but I really liked the Ocarina and Majora fairy design. Like, the simplistic, like, uh, bright bulb. Because when I, like, I, you know, a lot of people really don't like Navi or Tattle and Tail, but I always found them adorable when I was a child. I had my grip tested at one point, and from what I remember, I had a similar grip with both hands. I don't think the difference is very different. Yeah, like, my right hand is weaker than my left, which is weird because I'm right hand dominant. Ooh, that would have broken both of your legs there, Link. Another male? Jeez, these postmen are hard at work. I'm sorry to disturb you with this unsolicited letter. No kidding. If the following does not interest you, please throw the letter away without a second thought. But this... Oh god, are you going to tell me about your my car's extended warranty? Are you trying to sell me a product? Do you need an... If you have need of an empty bottle, a piece of hardware, or a treasure chest, we have them at a special bargain price. But we only have one of each. If you're interested, go to the shop ship near Rockspire Island. First come, first serve. I can't wait to serve you. To those who took the time to read this letter, please accept my humble thanks. Assistant Manager, Rockspire ship, Shop Ship. Well, at least they gave us some compensation. Like, I tried to do that in, like, my radio commercial voice, because I've done, like, radio commercials before. But, like, I didn't account for, like, the standard dialogue that was in there, so... <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Grandma. So, I think I just released the fairy. I don't know if I have to target her. So, I'll try that first. Okay. Yeah, so, if she's their grandmother, where's their parents? Like, I mean, I know there's the obvious answer, but, I mean, it's kind of like Link to the Past Link. He lived with his uncle. And then Ocarina of Time Link, at least you knew that he was, like, he was orphaned from the Hylian Civil War, but then, like, Link is just with, uh, his grandma here. Like, this. I have been freed from school. Woohoo! Free from the clutches of, uh, higher education. At least for a little bit. Ganon is his mom. It's complicated. <laughs> I mean, well, that's be that's a better answer than I could have provided. Thanks, Grandma. The elixir soup is so great, too. Like, it re it replenishes all of your life energy and magic power, and you do double damage until you take damage. It's like, it's better than most of the potions that you get later on in the game, and you can get it for free anytime. And there's two doses of it. Okay, so now that I've done that... Well, let me equip the sail. Then, well, yeah, I'll, I'll keep the bombs on X. So I'm having a little bit of a deja vu moment here, which is strange. 
Because, like, maybe I've had a dream about this or something, but, like, I have a... I'm having a deja vu moment of playing this exact portion on stream. Even though this is the very first time I've done it. But, you know, that's how deja vu works, right? So, as a child, these whirlpools scared the absolute hell out of me. And I would do anything in my power to avoid them. Just because, like, the music is so menacing. But, like, as Link, you can just go into the whirlpool like this. And it just, they terrified me. But it's like, it's just interesting looking at things that you may have been afraid of as a child, especially in games, and then you come back to them later on in life and you just wondered, like, it was kind of silly to be afraid of them. But as a child, it wasn't silly, but it's just interesting to see, like, the difference in mindset. Skies of Arcadia ship battle theme. Yeah, there we go. I don't know, it's just like storms and like the idea of a whirlpool is just terrifying. Like tornadoes, for example, like I'm absolutely terrified of tornadoes. But, you know, being... Seeing a few in my lifetime, like, kind of live, like, brought that fear to me. Tornadoes, not whirlpools. I've never seen an actual whirlpool before. <laughs> Unless you count, like, swirling those water bottles, like, a water bottle and making a whirlpool in a water bottle. <laughs> Okay, so if uh, Jaboon, Jaboon is speaking in Hylian, and then why is the King of Red Lion speaking English? It's like, you're, you're literally having a bilingual conversation here. <laughs> Because uh, when you beat the game, um, I believe um, when you start a new file, um, you get the option to... I think, it, I think it might be like a New Game Plus thing or some sort of like transfer of your save data or something. Because um, I remember you can uh, play through the game again with Link's uh, pajamas, essentially. And um, it translates the Hylian text um, when the characters speak it. So like Jaboon and then Valu and the Great Deku Tree... I used to live in Sacramento, and surprisingly, there was actually a tornado there while I was there. Not a serious one, it damaged the farmer's fence, and that was the extent the damage it did. Yeah, I, like, I've never physically been in one, but I've been close by to one, and I've seen the devastation that they do. And that's a story that I could probably tell for another stream when I'm more comfortable with it, but, like, yeah, there's, like... Like, I've seen firsthand what they do, and it's like, tornadoes are scary. Closest I've actually been to being in one was Dirt Devils. Well, technically, okay, so technically I have been in one. Um, so, I remember there was a, I was in the seventh grade at the time, and uh, my mom had, like, because it was raining, she brought me to the bus stop. Um, because she didn't, of course, she didn't want me to get rained on. It was like, like lightning and stuff. So, 
um, if the wind started to pick up like really, really crazy, so we're like, okay, what's going on here? And then the rain just came down like all at once. And then I saw like this plastic bag floating in the wind. I'm like, okay, that's a bad omen. And then when I looked up, there was a rotation in the sky. So essentially we had a tornado that was forming above the vehicle, but um, it was really weak. Um, but I remember the wind speed was really crazy. It was like, that. it was probably the worst wind speed I've ever been in. Um, it was probably like 70 something miles per hour. And I remember getting out of the car and be nearly being blown off my feet. But I still ended up going to school that day, which was insane. Um, so I went so I went to school that day, and because the power was out, they had nothing to do. So the, what they served us for lunch was bread and cheese. So they got like this, uh, they got like white bread from like the pantry, and they served us cheese along with it. So it was literally just a like white bread with a slice of cheese and some warm pudding and some warm milk. And then the teachers, they've got, like, this chili thing, like, this, like, portable, like, cooking thing, and they cook chili for all the teachers, and all the students just got all this, this crap, essentially. Okay, so I think I'll stay on Outset, just because I don't know, like, because I know that there's a few, like, mini-quest stuff that I can do here. Nothing crazy. Oh, I can't actually go through that. But surely, I'm, I'm I'm just too lazy to change the wind, so I'm just cruising. Slowly, slowly, easy does it. Okay. All right. Well, let me take care of these clowns first. Alright, chat, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a stream there. Um, so, for next time, I do have some debt. Um, I have the Hot Sauce Redeem that... Specs a million did, so next time um, I have this just in case. But really, it's been an eventful stream. Um, went through the Tournament of Power, fought Goku Black, Cell, Metal Cooler, a bunch of different things. Um, finished the Forbidden Woods with the cheese technique of using the forest water. Um, got the last uh, pearl, so now I think the next thing that I gotta do is that little side quest to get the Tower of the Gods, which I'm surprised that I'm already at this point in Wind Waker. I didn't think that it was, like, I, that I would get to that point that quickly, but then I remember that I'm doing, like, four-hour streams, and... But then again, I'm looking at this from the lens of an adult mind and not a child mind, so... But yeah, um, thanks everyone who came by the stream today. Thank you for the follows, Monochrome, Gold, and, uh... Uh... Din uh it's, I can't read the name. It's, like, Dinjin TTV. Um... And, uh, again, thanks everyone in chat, um, and we will see you in my realm next time with more Skies of Arcadia, and that'll be this Thursday, so I'll see y'all then.